इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी आर एन एस थियोरी ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइटिक डिसोसिएशन और आयोनाइजेशन ऑफ ए वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट हाउ वीक इलेक्ट्रोलाइट इज बींग आयोनाइज सो मिस्टर आर एन एस ही स्टडीड द कंडक्टिविटीज ऑफ अक्व सोल्यूशन ऑफ वेरियस इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स एंड ही प्रपोज द थ्योरी टू एक्सप्लेन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स सो हिस्स थ्योरी वॉज दैट सो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पॉस्टुलेट्स and the whole postulate is actually it's called as the arnes theory of electrolytic dissociation so what are the postulates he proposed so so postulates are uh, when electrolyte is dissolved in water it dissociate into ions so suppose you take nacl you put into water it converted to na plus and cl minus suppose this nacl is there in water it is converted into na plus and cl minus so this is an electrolyte Phenomenon of dissociation is reversible, and equilibrium is attained by undissociated form of the electrolyte. So this is not a reversible reaction. So we have to take any weak electrolyte; it must be reversible. So you have to take example like acetic acid. So this reaction will go under reversible reaction because this is a weak electrolyte. This will go reverse. This is not reversible because this is a strong electrolyte. So we have. Equilibrium state is attained by undissociated form. So this is the undissociated form. This is a dissociated form. So here we are getting equilibrium form, and ion furnished by it. So this equilibrium is known as the state of ionic equilibrium. So we, uh, any unionized molecule undergo dissociation form A plus and B minus. Same they will combine to form a, uh, with association same molecule. So this is the undissociated form. This is the dissociated form. Or we can say ionized or unionized molecules. So on applying the law of mass action, K is equal to a plus n b minus one a b K is equal to m constant. So we will get the K value from this weak electrolyte. Third postulate on upon dilutions, alpha alpha is nothing but the degree of dissociation. It increases, cons it increases upon dilution. So consequently, what will happen? The concentration of ions is also increases in the dilution. That's why we are calling conductance of solutions is also increases due to the increase of ions. So this is the AB. So AB is undergoing A plus and B minus. So before dissociation, this is the one. This will be zero zero. So after dissociation, this is one minus. This is alpha alpha. This is one minus alpha. So alpha we can write that is the degree of dissociation. That is equal to most dissociated at any time divided by the total most taken initially. The so total most taken initially is one. Most dissociated will be alpha plus alpha. So we can write here one plus alpha like this one for this value. If the dilution is infinite, means if you take the large quantity of water, then what will happen? The alpha will equal to one, means hundred percent dissociation has been taken place. Suppose if it is with acetic acid also, so at infinite dilution, whole acetic acid is hundred percent dissociated at this stage in infinite dilution. Fourth uh, postulate: ions are either charged atoms like this one, or a charged group of atoms like U O two plus N O three. They are charged group of atoms, atoms or charged group of atoms. In electrolytic solutions, uh, total positive charge on the cation is equal to total negative charge. So this is always equal. That's why electrolytic solutions are electrically neutral in nature. When current is passed through electrolytic solutions, the ions present in solutions it migrate toward the oppositely uh, charged electrodes and responsible for passage of electricity. So this is the important points. They are only responsible for electricity. Seventh, equivalent conductance of an electrolytic solution depends upon the number of ions and charge present on them. So it depends on the charge. Uh, electrolyte depends on the whatever amount of charge. If it is, it can be monopositive, it can be dipositive, it can be tripositive or tetrapositive, like SI four plus. Equivalent conductance also increases with dilution. So at infinite dilution, alpha is equal to one that we discussed. So the number of ions does not increase with dilution further. So at this uh, at this stage, we are getting maximum dilutions or maximum dissociations. So equivalent uh, conductance becomes Constant at infinite dilution. So we can write uh, alpha is equal to v into lambda v. Lambda v means dilution, and this is the infinite dilution. So this is cancelled. So we can write equivalent conductance at dilution is equal to equivalent conductance at infinite. So this is one equation alpha. So alpha means equivalent conductance at dilution divided by equivalent condition at infinite dilution. That is equal to alpha. So when volume is infinite. So conductance becomes 
equal to each other. So both equal, both will be cancelled. This will be equal to each other, and alpha equal to one at infinite dilutions. To determine determination of the, it is also the postulate says that or determines the colligative properties also of each ions in which each ions behave as an independent particles. Thus, colligative properties of the solutions are depend upon the number of ions present in solution. So, what are the colligative pro uh, colligative properties? So, these are the osmotic pressure, uh, relative lowering of vapor pressure. Uh, elevation in boiling point, depression in freezing point. So this, uh, if you have studied uh, solution chapter, then uh, uh, we will understand this thing. Otherwise, right now, if you are in 11th class, then just note it down. These are the colligative properties in which uh, uh, each ions behave as an independent particle. Suppose Na is NaCl is broken into two particles. Suppose NaCl is there. So it is convert to Na plus NCl and so we will we'll count two particles, one particle to a second particle, two particles and these are independent to each other. So this is what the Arrhenius uh, says that properties of an electrolytic solution depends upon the uh, properties of ions present in solution. Suppose this is the uh, ion which color is green color. So on dissociation so it becomes uh, Q plus 2 plus, Q plus 2 plus and CR2. So CR2 is orange in color, okay, and this is blue in color. So and they, so this green, color, this green color is imparted into blue in orange color. So these are nothing but the complementary color of the green, uh, uh, complementary green color of this one, blue and orange. So this also depends upon the properties when present in the solutions.